welcome to New Hampshire for the All-Star Race. The All-Star Race will include 17 drivers, and they are all winners from Season 3. But Tony Stewart is the All-Star Race vote winner, so he'll be starting at the back of the pack next to Carl Edwards, our most recent winner in Season 4. These are Season 3 wins and Season 4 winners, but let's take a look at the pre-race. This first race is where the top three move on to the main event, so you have to finish first, second, or third in order to move on to the All-Star Race. Starting in the pole position is Marcos Ambrose and Clint Boyer. Starting at the back is Vicar, Brian Vickers and Bobby Labonte. It looks Dale Earnhardt Jr. has a really fast car this race, along with Bobby Labonte, but he got a little loose in practice here, so he wrecked his car and they're having to use they're using it back up. So they had to start the back of the pack. But here's your starting lineup. Clint Boyer and Ambrose on the front row. In row two, you'll have Kevin Hardick and Dale Earnhardt Jr. And then in row three, Trevor Bain and Martin Truex Jr. And then in row four, you'll have Kyle Busch and Joey Logano. In row five, you'll have Brad Kozlowski and Danica Patrick. Row six, rounding it out today is Bobby Labonte and Brian Vickers. Here's your race info. Five laps, 12 drivers. The top three make it into the main event. So let's go racing New Hampshire style. Green flag is in the air. Ambrose and Boyer are going to lead us down. Earnhardt Jr. is going to take a quick leap to second place. Mark Church Jr. falling right behind him. There's a fly by the field. Ambrose still has a pretty good lead on Jr. Joe Logano's trying to get around, and he does get around Martin Truex Jr. But here comes Brian Vickers, who knocks Dale Earnhardt Jr. out of the way. Kozlowski now takes third away from Bobby Labonte. Here comes Brian Vickers. He's going to take the lead as we head in for lap five, the final lap here. Vickers in the lead, following behind him is Ambrose. Will Kozlowski keep third place? Here comes Labonte. He's going to get there. He's going to get spun, spun a little bit. He's going to keep it together, though, and he's going to finish in third place. There your top three. Here's the finishing results. First was Vickers, Brian Vickers. Second was Marcos Ambrose, and third was Bobby Levani. They're moving on, but now it's time for the main event, the All Star Race. 17 drivers, 10 laps. It should be should be pretty fun around this track. It looks much like Mar Mar Martinsville. Our uh, car today is Kevin Harvick's 2014 season 5 car number 4 Outback Steakhouse Chevy today the prize winning uh, cash is 1 million dollars so we're gonna get to your starting lineup here in row one is Greg Biffle and Ryan Newman. And then in row two, you'll have Matt Kenseth, his last race, by the way, in the 17, and A.J. Omeninger. Row three, Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson, teammates starting next to each other. Row four, Paul Menard and Maxwell Beatty. Row five, Sam Hornish Jr. and Eric Ray. By the way, everyone, where you're, st where you're starting at is when your driver actually got the win. So, if you start, if you're starting in last place, like Carl Edwards there, if there wasn't any moving on cars, he would be last place because he's the most recent winner. But let's take a look at the pace car today. There's Kevin Harvick's season five car. But let's take a look at the race info. I've already told you much of it. Ten laps, 17 drivers, cash prize one million dollars, and temperature is 64 degrees. So let's go racing here. Green flag at New Hampshire for the All-Star Race. Ryan Newman and Greg Biffle are going to lead us down quickly. Almendinger is going to get around Biffle. He's going to take second. Almendinger catching up on Newman quickly. He's going to give him a nudge, telling him that he has the faster car, so Newman's going to let him get around. Almendinger still maintaining a pretty good lead. And there's a wreck. Matt Kenseth spins out as they head into turn three. He's going to leave the race very early in his last race ever. There's the replay. He just spins out. But here we go for the restart. Almdinger is still leading us. Here comes Beatty in the, and 
second place, Jeff Gordon falling right behind him as we're in, as we're on lap five. Almdinger maintaining good speed. And there's a wreck! It looks like Menard and Denny Hamlin got spun around there. I think Menard got a little loose. Let's take a look at the... Well, Almendinger actually passed the line before the caution flag was waved. So, we'll put us a lap ahead. Both those drivers will continue. But let's take a look at the replay. It looks like Menard's just going to get loose. A little bump from Hamlin, it looked like. And they're just going to spin out there. But here we go for the restart. Lap 7-10. Gordon gets around Beatty. He's going to take second. Almendinger still in the lead. He's doing a very good job. But here comes Tony Stewart coming into third place. Almendinger doing a really good job of holding off Jeff Gordon here as we have two laps to go in the All Star race. Sam Hornish Jr. running third. Gordon gives a nudge to Almendinger. He's going to lose the lead. It looks like Gordon. 